Thanks for choosing my video. I hope you enjoy this. This is a final video for the uh, dashboard replacement in the 1993 Thompson 26 foot Fisherman. The original dash, if you recall from the seven episodes before, was cracked and broken. Pretty much a mess. I've taken all the fuse holders and changed them, swapped them out for uh, breakers. Two Simrad Go 7s which I later found out was not prime choice, but it's too late now. One for a chart plotter. Second one for the gauges on the engine. I'm still missing one switch. Got a few minor details. Touch-ups need to be done. The engine gauge assortment is not configurable. Pretty much have to go with what Simrad puts into the software. That results in two gauges that are pretty much useless. The one that says load on it and the other one that says economy. Final calibrations will be done next spring when this is put into the water. Too late this season to complete this uh, project any more than it is. Inside the cabin, I've put it back together. I need to move that one snap a little bit, put a little tension on there. Added a second dome light while I had it, or the cabin ceiling apart. The white cable hanging there is the connection for the uh, computer to do the calibrations on the gauges, so I left it in there. When I put the boat in the water, I'll finish the calibration of the gauges. This is a close-up of the 12-volt socket. A standard, what would normally be called a cigarette lighter, although I don't think you'd want to put a cigarette lighter in it, it's plastic. And below that is the two uh, USB ports. Charge your phone. On your laptops, whatever you want to run. Bakers, appropriately sized for the uh, job that they do. Look like switches, but they're just a push button sealed unit breaker. The switches are all carling, and you'll notice there's a few little marks that I've got to touch up and paint yet. I haven't got the touch-up paint. I'll finish that up. Got all winter. From 20 feet, they look pretty good. They're all backlit with red. Trim tabs that have their own separate switch now, instead of the joystick that originally came with the Bennett tabs. Below the dashboard, I'm just going to put a piece of wood in there with a knee pad onto it, cover up all those uh, holes where the uh, old switches were.
being that this boat will probably never see salt water, I don't think using the aluminum like this is going to be a problem. Up where the uh, compass originally was, I'm going to take and uh, cut a piece of wood and taper it, do a little routering around it, and then put a beer can holder in the middle of it. That pretty much wraps it up. Gives me a nice clean dashboard. Looks good. Oh, and the, uh, the, the Yamaha 25 on the back auxiliary engine. I decided I didn't need the tachometer for that. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and make a comment. Even if you don't like the video, make a negative comment. Be fine with me.